guys, so the Sephora VIB sale is coming up. Usually Sephora has a spring VIB sale, so hopefully that is still the case for this year. So I made a list of everything that I'm wanting and I'm trying to narrow it down in this video. So maybe even you guys could help me narrow this down even more because Guys, there is no way that I'm gonna be able to afford all this, but hey, a girl can dream. So I kept this Strictly Makeup Products aside from a couple hair fragrances that I'm including towards the end of the video. It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. I've heard so many negative reviews on that. Um, just makes me all the more curious on trying it out. It's a full coverage foundation. I tried it out on the back of my hand at a Sephora store and it's the most full coverage foundation I've ever seen in my life like it, it looks really full coverage so I don't know if that would really pull off very well on my skin but I am so interested and intrigued in that foundation especially since everybody is so negative about it just makes me all the more curious to try it out the second foundation that I've been interested in is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. Hourglass is one of my favorite brands. They are beautiful, they're high-end, they're expensive, I know, but th those are one of the high-end brands that I think is worth the money. Their packaging is just flawless. The coverage seems to be beautiful. Um, yeah, that's just another foundation that I've had my eye on for a while now and that I would love to invest in. I've had a friend recommend to me the Makeup Forever HD Invisible Cover Foundation. Um, Hannah wears that foundation and makes her look beautiful. Her skin is just flawless. And that's the type of foundation that I feel like might pull off very well on my skin. So that's another foundation that I've had my eye on. Two foundations that I don't really hear anybody talking about is the Cojun Do Aqua Foundation and the Stellar Limitless Foundation. Those are two foundations that you don't really hear about on YouTube. Um, and I'm really interested in trying them. They sound like they're beautiful formulas. Um, I know I have that oily skin, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna try them out. And I've actually been more open-minded about it. Even though I have oily skin, doesn't mean that I can't try out a dewy foundation. The two concealers that I'm interested in for the Sephora VIB sale is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer and the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. Both of them sound amazing. I want both of them, but I'm trying to limit myself and really pick out things that I think will really complement my makeup collection and that I will reach for a lot. I have seen such a difference in my makeup when I wear concealer. So this decision is a big one for me because I love concealer right now and I'm picky about them. So the brands that I chose are very, very highly recommended brands and they have good reviews. The Dominique Cosmetics Latte Eyeshadow Palette looks amazing and they look like colors that I would use so much. There are really good reviews on Sephora, so more than likely I probably will get that palette. But let me tell you the other two that are on my wish list. The Pat McGrath Labs, uh, what is it exactly? The Mothership 5 Eyeshadow Palette Bronze Seduction. Oh my word, it looks beautiful. Um, I've heard amazing things about um, Pat McGrath Labs um, brand. I don't have anything from them in my collection and I feel like that would be such a staple to put into my makeup collection. Um, Pat McGrath is very expensive and that is why I would wait till the Sephora VIB sale. More than likely I'll, I'll wait till the 20% off to purchase that palette, but that is a beautiful palette and that is something that I would definitely buy. Let's talk about Natasha Denona. I feel like everybody has that her on their list for their VIB sale, um, but in particular, the Safari All Matte palette has been on my wish list for a while. Um, I just, I feel like Natasha Denona is a staple brand to have in your makeup collection, like especially if you're a makeup fanatic like me. Um, she's just one of those brands that I want to have. The Fenty Beauty All Over Diamond Veil Highlight. I have wanted that for the longest time. I keep on swatching it every single time I walk into Sephora. Like it's just, it's got this beautiful glittery formula that just instantly attracts someone who loves highlights. So that is something that I feel like I would wear so much in the summer um, just because that sun would be catching all that highlight and glitter and yeah, that's something I'm definitely interested in. The Patrick Tay Body Glow Oil looks amazing. Um, 
I don't know if I would like it more than I do my Sol de Janeiro oil. Like, I love that oil so much. I don't think there could be anything really that could replace that. But looking at that Patrick Tay oil looks tempting. And it's beautiful packaging. I mean, it looks like you get a lot for $52. So yeah, that's on my wish list. I have two products that I want to mention for face powders. The first being the Sweet Peach Too Faced Setting Powder. I've just had my eye on it for a while and I think that it would be worth my money, especially since I have the oily skin. Um, I'm always interested in finding a new setting powder and I feel like this would just be a good fit for my skin. And yeah, the Sweet Peach collection is just, has always drawn my attention. It's always been something that I've gravitated towards. Um, it's always suited my skin type. The second powder um, is more of a luxurious brand, I would say, is the Laura Mercier, um, what is it called? The Translucent Setting Powder Glow. I really don't know how it would look on my skin. Um, just because I have that oily skin, I know I'm trying to keep an open mind. I should really, really invest in that Laura Mercier. I've heard so many people talk about that, so I don't know, let me know, let me know. As far as blush is concerned, I have two products once again. I have the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette, which I think it comes with like six blushes um, and it looks amazing. It looks very glowy, so not sure if it would suit my skin type, but I would try it nevertheless, like I don't care. Just the colors in that palette look so beautiful. Um, there's like a dark shade in there that for some reason I have been loving um, peachy blushes, but I have been dying to try um, like purple blushes. I know that may sound weird, but really, I think they look really pretty. NARS is expensive, so I have heard so many people talking about, it's a newer release, the Buxom, uh, what is it called? The Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush. That just sounds like something right down my street. They just have a really good color selection and um, they just are a good, Buxom is a good brand. Let's talk about lipsticks. Um, I have two on my list here. I've got the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. I have seen so much promotion on that um, on Instagram. They look amazing. Um, I love the Charlotte Tilbury formula and it kind of the, just looking at the powder matte finish reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, which I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. They are my go-to. Huda Beauty is my um, all-around favorite brand at Sephora. Um, they always have the greatest releases, the greatest formulas. And if it reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury, I know I'll be all on board. The Dominique Lemonade Lip Gloss in Strawberry Lemonade. That formula looks so glossy and I really want to explore Dominique Cosmetics more because I've been hearing more and more about them and I've been hearing some really good positive things about that brand and it just makes me want to explore them even more. The Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer Coconut Perfect Tan. I have wanted this for a while. Yes, it's expensive, but I feel like it's just a classic bronzer. I know that Galactic Bronzer in Cabo is also another classic, but I really want that Marc Jacobs tan bronzer. Like, I feel like I would use this so much in the summertime and I'm thinking about getting a tan, so I feel like it would just look really, really good. But my other option is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. I have been loving cream bronzers lately. Um, they just last really well on my skin. Um, they just apply really easily. They've just been something I've been really, really investing in lately. And I heard Kathleen Lights mention that she really liked this bronzer. So I know my skin type is completely different from hers, but I feel like it probably would turn out really well for me. Um, so that is the other more affordable option that I have for uh, bronzers, the Marc Jacobs Velvet Primer Epic Lash Primer. I have heard so many good things about that. Like just using it as a base and then putting whatever your favorite mascara is, like mine right now is the ColourPop Lash Love Mascara. Um, just using that on top of the primer. I don't know, I've just heard so many good things about that pr that lash primer, it makes me want to get it. So that is on my Sephora wish list. I just have one face primer that I've been interested in. It's the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Um, if you are new to my channel, I have the Ola Henriksen um, Eye Banana Cream that I wear every single morning. I put it on every single day. It's, it's part of my morning skincare routine 
when I heard that they came out with a primer, I was so excited. I can't believe I haven't purchased it yet, but I have been showing some restraint in my makeup purchases recently. I've been interested in three hair fragrance from the brand Taka. I believe that's how you pronounce it. There's a newer one called the Maya hair fragrance that looks beautiful. The notes just sound amazing in it. Um, also the Stella and the Florence. Leaning towards the Maya, um, just the notes sound like something I would be more interested in, but we will see. I had so much fun talking to you guys about my favorites. I don't know, it's just something that I wanted to do. Um, I enjoy watching this type of video, so hopefully this was of help to you. With that said, I will see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you soon. Bye.